Oh my gosh. Hey guys, welcome back to another pink box unboxing crumble Monday. So today the crumble, she was so freaking sweet. So she gave me a spoon. Like they've never given me a spoon before because if you guys have seen uh, crumbles menu for this week there's a carrot cake and she handed it to me and she was like i don't want to close the box because i don't know if it's going to mess up the carrot cake so i was like okay i'll just carry it out which i'm really glad she did because look at this y'all everything oh also the carrot cake is an upcharge i'm not really sure how much it's an upcharge though so be prepared for that okay i almost drops the carrot cake I'm trying to take thumbnail but it looks so stinking good i don't know if i'm gonna be able to pick it up but they have we have a two brand new mini items i love when crumble comes out with new stuff it's just more exciting when they come out with new stuff at least like one new cookie like i know it's hard to come out with new cookies but i feel like it's just more exciting when they do but I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I was looking on the crumble, like the cookies that haven't ever came out on the app, cause you guys know that they have like this new feature and it's like you can rank your favorite cookie or something like that. Well, this cookie was on there and I was like, oh my goodness, I've never had that cookie and I never have been around a crumble where I can try a new thing with like a testing cookie location you know but i seen this last week whenever i was looking and i was like man i hope they bring that out soon because it looks so good and they did this is the strawberry pretzel pie a buttery pie inspired cookie rolled in pretzel pieces adorned with whipped cream cheese topping house-made strawberry jam and more pretzel pieces for the perfect crunch okay this looks so Ooh, the jam is so good for a second whenever i first seen it i didn't know it was jam i thought it was gonna be like a syrup not like a syrup but like a like a sticky a something sticky that's not gonna move but this is like melting off so mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. This This is Todd. Y'all know I always say the Oreo Mallow Cup is my favorite. I think this is my favorite cookie from Crumble. Oh my god. Mmm. Mm. Everything about this cookie is a 10 out of 10. Oh my gosh. The pretzels kind of look like they're a little bit candid. I know it does. I don't think it says it in the description. This is so good. It's not sweet because you have like the Cool Whip the is it whipped cream yeah i guess it's because you have the whipped cream on top and i feel like whipped cream isn't like overly sweet because y'all know sometimes crumbles like icing is like way too sweet like it's like almost like you're just eating straight up sugar and it's just too much but i love the pretzels oh my goodness fun fact i used to hate pretzels but now i'm obsessed with pretzels this is the perfect savory cookie like it's not overly sweet it's like the right amount of sweetness i feel like the jam adds the perfect sweetness flavor to it and i'm typically not like a fruit person like fruit on things but i feel like it complements the salt and everything with the pretzel so well everything about this cookie the butter cookie like the butter pie base whatever that the pretzels are stuck in this is a 10 out of 10 this is phenomenal i just spit this is so good i feel like you could eat this and not get sick eating too much of it you know obviously you get sick if you eat too much of anything but this is a 10 out of 10 this is phenomenally good if you guys get this go let me know if you thought the same thing that is so good oh my gosh okay and then i got the lemon crinkle i did not get like the sugar one because like the sugar cookies aren't my favorite and it's really expensive to get like the whole is it eight 
or six. It's really expensive to get the six count. I think it's like $26. And I'd rather just get the cookies that I really want to try, the new cookies. And yeah, because you know, y'all know what I mean. But this is the lemon crinkle, a warm cakey lemon cookie rolled in crunchy sugar crystals and sprinkled with fluffy powdered sugar. I have that strawberry jam everywhere. Mm. I love crinkle cookies. I feel like you get a good, really like cakey butter, butter cake with a lemon type vibe. That's what that reminds me of. That's super good. I love the crinkle cookies. And then we have the double fudge brownie. These cookies are all perfect today, like perfectly round, perfectly everything. The double fudge brownie, a thick brownie cookie topped with glossy chocolate glaze, freshly baked with fresh, freshly baked brownie bots. I can't talk. Mmm. See, this is good. I like when the the crumble brownie cookies are more flat because I kind of like the corner pieces of brownie. Brownie is better, you know, because you get that little crunch. It's so 10 out of 10. It tastes just like a double fudge brownie with a little bit of frosting on top. Super good. Okay. I don't know what's going on. I think it's because the salty. Because normally when I take too many, that's why I don't really take a lot of bites because I like to try them. But when I eat a lot of the crumble cookies, like if I take a lot, a lot of bites, that's a lot. And it makes me start feeling very sick and human over here. But, yeah, it makes me get really, really sick. And it's not good when I eat too much sugar. But, next up is the carrot cake. Carrot cake. I want to see if I can pick it up. So, that way you guys can see it better. Oh, I think I'm going to be able to. I don't want to mess it up, though. Yeah. So, this is the carrot cake. Two tiers of carrot cake mixed with a warm spice coconut, pineapple, and carrots. All layered with a light glaze and vanilla cream cheese frosting. Then topped with chopped pecans. Chopped pecans. Let's give this a try. I feel like my dad would... Ooh. I don't know why, but carrot cake, I guess because all the spices, it, it makes me just think of Thanksgiving. Because my aunt used to always make carrot cake for Thanksgiving. Let's give it a try guys can see can you guys see all the the carrots and all the things in there let's give it a try okay I typically don't like carrot cake because of the texture of the carrots on the inside of it. This is perfectly spiced. The cream cheese frosting on top is very, very good. Oh, oh, there's coconut in there. That's why, that's the texture I'm getting. If you're a texture person, you're not going to like this cookie at all. But the flavor, however, the flavor is 100% there. The spices are perfect. Um, I personally don't like the coconut on it just because I don't like the texture of coconut flakes and coconut spears or slices or whatever. This, the cake is perfectly spiced. The cream cheese is perfect. It is a perfect, it tastes like a very fresh carrot cake cupcake. I don't know why it's giving me more of a cupcake vibe than it is just like a cake cake. But it reminds me of a cupcake. It's like a very, very extravagant cupcake. The Like I said, I typically don't gravitate towards carrot cake. But I feel like I have tried homemade carrot cake. Like, grow up in the South. Everybody makes carrot cake. And I feel like it's good. I feel like the spices are on point. I feel like they did a really good job with the presentation. I loved the, the that they added the pecans on top i love that the cream cheese frosting tastes really really good it's not overly sweet it's perfect and if you love carrot cake you can go get your vegetables in today so go get it but i'm gonna give this uh pretzel on, on the try because she's the star of the show 
Mm. You already know. First favorite. 10 out of 10 was the pre strawberry pretzel pie. Mmm. What pretzels did they use on this thing? It's so good. I say the carrot cake was my favorite, my second favorite. Like I said, I don't really like carrot cake, but they did a really good job on the spices, on everything, presentation, everything. Like I said, the only way you're not going to like the carrot cake cookie or pot cake, whatever it is, is if you're a texture person. If you're a really big texture person, that's the only way you're not going to like it. It was really good. And then third, definitely the double fudge brownie. That one tastes just like a double fudge brownie. I don't know how else to describe that. It tastes just like a double fudge brownie. Probably like a eight out of ten, just because like I feel like a lot all of Crumble's brownie cookies taste very very similar, and it makes sense just because they're all brownie cookies. Uh, the carrot cake is probably like a nine and a half out of ten. The pretzel, the strawberry pretzel pie, that was like a twelve, a hundred out of ten. That was so good, so good. And then the lemon crinkle. Lemon crinkle was probably like an 8 out of 10 too. 8.5 out of 10 because I love cookies. I, like I said, I feel like it gave like buttery cake with a, a little bit of lemon. Like a lemon buttery cake. That's what it tastes like. So good. I love crinkle cookies. I just feel like there's a different texture and taste to crinkle cookies. I don't know. This week is a 10 out of 10. I'm so, so ecstatic that they brought out the strawberry pretzel pot nationwide. Like, or not nationwide. Like, you know, out at every crumble location so so good 10 out of 10 if you gotta go, guys go try these this week you let me know what your thoughts were please don't forget to like and subscribe click that notification bell down below so you always get notified when i post a video there's a lot of snacks and all that stuff coming out this week i think sonic came out with something else like a new drink so we're gonna have to go try that you know but i love you guys so much stay safe be kind to one another and hopefully i see you all in my next video bye guys love you